Good morning. Hey everybody, Ann here, and it is day three of my Daniel Boone National Forest Adventure. It has been so awesome. I was able to get into town yesterday and uh, upload some videos and answer some comments, make a few, you know, phone calls and whatnot, because out here, there's nothing. Nobody gets anything. No cell phone, no internet. But, you know what, the trade-off is all this beauty. And so after I had gone into town, I was surprised when I was able to come back and get the same camp spot, which is great. I, I actually think this is the best one on the lake. And it's just gorgeous out here. I love it. So, yeah, going into town, whew, I tell you what, I don't know if Kentucky is going to be my stopping point. Just for the simple fact that there are so many hills and ups and downs. And some of them are kind of steep. And this old girl, this old girl right here, <laughs> she's only a six-cylinder. She doesn't have a lot of power. And I'm just afraid that transmission is just going to blow up or whatever. Um, but she made it. She, she runs smoothly. If I keep up on oil and whatnot, she does fine. But anyhow, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a bank pull with this poker thingy. I don't know if I can do it. I would sure love to catch fish out there, but um, well, we'll just see if I can get her done. Here's the stuff I'm going to use. I'm going to use the poker. I'm going to use this uh, six pound. I don't know. I don't know if it's the right kind. Um, that is the biggest hook that I have, and I'm going to use this kind of subdued color bobber because I really don't want anybody seeing it um, but me. And then I don't have one of those big weights, so I'm going to use three or four of these weights to see if that'll pull it down enough. Um, so I'm just going to put this together. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm horrible at tying knots, but um, I don't know. Let's just give it a try, you know? I'm gonna just try it and see if it works. If it doesn't, well, I'll figure something else out. Okay, first thing I have to figure out how to get the line off of this little thingy, whatever you call it. How do you get it off? Normally there's like a little cut in the side, I think. But is it here? It must be here. Yep, it is. It is there, that little thing in the middle, kind of like a little knot thingy. So, I'm just going to pull a bunch of it out, and you didn't see this, but I tied a knot. I tied several knots, and um, <laughs> just started wrapping it up until I thought I had enough, and I really wasn't sure how much I needed. So, what I did, I knew I needed to have a certain distance, so I just put the reel on the ground, and I kept wrapping the line up onto the pole until it was all done. Now, I do these kind of um, hooks. I attach the hooks by doing the little loopy thing and then wrapping it around and then sticking the line right back through the little loop and then pulling it tight. That's the only way I know how to put on a hook. <laughs> and it looks like Looks like I did a good job. I'm just kind of pull it down, make sure that it sticks, and I'll cut that little extra piece off in a minute here. But yeah, it hangs pretty straight. So, alrighty, now how far should I put the weights? Maybe, I don't know, like that? Yeah, let me just get these little ones. I don't know what you call them, but uh, yeah, just kind of squeeze it on the line and then. Squeeze it even better. There you go. Right on. Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> Alrighty, now I've got all three on, and I think that that's plenty, plenty enough weight to be able to sink it the way that I want it to. Alright, now I have to put on the bobber. How far should I put it? I think this this will be okay. I, I can always adjust it later. I'll just put it on the top. And push the thingy, <laughs> wrap it around, right on. I got my bobber on, and here we go. There's my bank pole. 
I'm pretty proud, proud of it. For bait, yep, I just took a sickly looking night crawler. It had, I don't know, I think it's dying. I mean, it's still moving, but um, I figured I'm going to go ahead and use this. There we go. Got it on my hook and I'm ready to cast it off, off the bank. All right, there's where I put my, my pole, my bank pole, and it's out there. You can't see it. The bobber's just slightly underneath the water. It's not a very big bobber, so it kind of just sunk, but trust me, it's out there. <laughs> I can't even see it myself. All right, let's see. It's been a while, a couple hours. I got my big gloves on. I'm expecting to pull in something amazing. A big old catfish or something. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Did she catch anything? Um, well, it looks like that's a resounding, um, no. <laughs> I did not catch anything and it took my bait. All right, so let's try this power bait. I don't know, trout bites. Let's see if it works. There we go, look at it, it looks like a little flower. What fish wouldn't love that? All right, I've got it tossed in and I waited a few hours and I'm pulling it in. I don't think so. Yeah, this doesn't look too promising, but you know what? <laughs> That's okay. I'm having fun. Yep, the bait's still on. At least the bait's still on. I'm gonna, pat, I'm gonna toss it back out there and see what happens. And in the meantime, I'm gonna have some egg drop soup. You can't see the egg in there, but there is an egg in there. There we go. Looks good. It's gonna be delicious. There's the egg. Yep, just gotta stir it up a little bit more. And I've got plenty to share with Betty. All right, let's see. Did she catch anything this time? Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Um, well, <laughs> uh, no, I caught some weeds. So either something took the bait or it drug along the bottom and I just, the bait came off. So I don't know. So let's try these fake worms. I don't know whether they fake little squiddies, squid thingies. I have no idea. See, I'm such a horrible fisher person. Toss it in. And let's see. Nope. Nope. And you know what? I tossed this thing in several times and it kept stealing the bait over and over again. I'm not even going to bother, you know, filming each and every time. Just know that I pulled this in several times and I just never caught anything. But you know what? I made a cool ditty pole and or bank pole, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you know what? I'm going to try again tonight. Put some bacon on it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.